If you often watch our channel friends, you should know. China is stepping up the construction of chip production capacity, and domestic chip manufacturers, such as SMIC, Huahong Semiconductor, GTA Semiconductor, and so on are increasing their production capacity. Among them, GTA Semiconductor has launched multiple tenders to purchase semiconductor equipment such as thin film deposition, etching machines, and lithography machines for the industry market. The results of another round of bidding for GTA Semiconductor have been released, with seven new equipment tenders, and domestic suppliers have also won bids. What is the specific result? Both Chinese and Japanese companies are making efforts in these bidding projects. Does ASML still have a chance? Welcome to our channel. Before watch our videos, please subscribe our channel. Domestic lithography machine manufacturers win domestic orders. Manufacturing is the foundation and chip manufacturing is the cornerstone of all walks of life. Electronic devices that can be seen everywhere are inseparable from chip processes. But to produce these chips, the process is very complicated and requires the use of various semiconductor equipment. Almost every process corresponds to a type of equipment, and the types of semiconductor equipment formed include lithography machines, etching machines, cleaning machines, ion implanters, process inspection, thin film deposition, and so on. Depending on the type of equipment, the manufacturing difficulty is also different, especially the manufacturing difficulty of the lithography machine. The top EUV lithography machine is currently only produced by ASML in the Netherlands. Of course, even the low-end DUV lithography machine and I-Line and G-Line are in the hands of a small number of manufacturers. ASML continues to deeply cultivate the Chinese market, hoping to get more support for lithography machine orders and to expand the scale of the team in mainland China to provide services to customers. However, whether or not to bid for the equipment ordered by domestic manufacturers depends on the situation. Unexpectedly, the bidding and winning results of domestic manufacturers have been released, but ASML has not been seen and the domestic lithography equipment provided by Shanghai Microelectronics successful bid. Specifically, this week, Chinese domestic manufacturers tendered 105 sets of equipment, including one etching machine, one thin film deposition, and other process inspection, ion implantation machine, etc. In terms of winning bids, China won the bid for 28 equipment this week, including one lithography machine, one etching machine and process inspection, two cleaning equipment, and 23 equipment won by other manufacturers. In the list of companies to be tendered, Shanghai GTA Semiconductor has added seven new bidding equipment which shows that there is a richer demand for various types of semiconductor equipment. Shanghai Microelectronics won the bid for the only lithography machine order and did not see the lithography machine giant ASML winning the bid. Is ASML not participating in the tender? In fact, in the first half of GTA Semiconductor's bidding projects, ASML has a record of winning the bid. Why I didn't see ASML this time? It is estimated that it has either lost the bid, or the follow-up list has not been announced yet. No matter what the reason, ASML will definitely not give up the bidding opportunity of domestic manufacturers. As for whether it can win the order share in the future, we need to wait and see. However, 
Judging from the bidding situation of major domestic manufacturers this time, many domestic suppliers participated in it. For example, North Huachuang, 11 in Juaning Superconductor, Core Silicon Technology, and Shanghai Microelectronics, etc. Some of them won the bid for lithography machines, while others won various orders such as cleaning equipment. At a critical moment, when domestic semiconductors are increasing their production capacity, these bidding projects will surely attract extensive attention from industry giants at home and abroad. Including Japanese manufacturers are also actively bidding. For example, Khan Ken won the bid for Hua Hong Semiconductors 7 Semiconductor Exhaust Processor Devices, and Itochu Corporation won the order for 13 multi-wire cutting equipment from Chinese enterprises. Chinese companies and Japanese companies have made efforts one after another. Does ASML still have a chance? China is not only the world's largest chip consumer, but also ranks first in the world in terms of semiconductor equipment sales. According to Semi Statistics, in 2021, the sales of semiconductor equipment in mainland China will reach 29.6 billion US dollars, about 213.1 billion yuan, a year on year increase of 58% followed by South Korea's 25 billion US dollars and China Taiwan's 24.9 billion US dollars. Such semiconductor equipment sales will inevitably attract many foreign suppliers to actively participate in the layout of the Chinese mainland market. Just like ASML said to speed up the layout of the Chinese market and maintain open cooperation. Not only that, the Japanese lithography giant Nikon also wants to seek more cooperation with Chinese customers, thereby reducing its dependence on Intel's orders. According to Nikon's idea, it wants to double its lithography machine shipments around 2025. Although the equipment provided by Nikon also belongs to low-end products, from the perspective of the layout requirements of chip production capacity, chips for mature processes, such as 28 nanometers, can be satisfied. This also means that if Nikon really accelerates the layout of the Chinese market, it may have the conditions to win some orders. In general, Chinese companies and Japanese companies have made efforts one after another. Does ASML still have a chance? This depends on how well ASML is deployed and what supply strength it can maintain in the semiconductor industry chain. ASML is currently free to ship DUV lithography machine products, so according to ASML's idea, most of them will increase the production capacity of low-end lithography machines, make up for quality with quantity and increase market sales. It remains to be seen what kind of improvement can be achieved in the end. The bidding projects of domestic manufacturers are adding more demand for orders and expanding the scope of bidding. Whether Chinese companies can win orders also depends on the strength of hardcore technology. It is hoped that they can increase the control of core technologies recruit more scientific researchers, and enrich the supply level for the domestic semiconductor industry chain. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel please.